Hey guys, welcome back to After Credit Movie Chats. My name is Dean Thomas, and it is officially March 1st, which means we're inching towards summer, and also it's a new month, so it's time to look at my most anticipated movies for this month, and hopefully some of these movies are also what you're looking forward to. Uh, I've got three main ones listed here, probably a couple obvious ones, maybe some that aren't so much, but let's start off with number three, and that is London Has Fallen. Uh, the sequel to... Olympus Has Fallen, and I have to say, I really actually enjoyed Olympus Has Fallen, and it was way better than that piece of trash White House Down, but uh, Gerard Butler really is a true action star, and these are the roles he fits really well in. I really like Aaron Eckhart as the president, and it kind of took you back to those classic 80s action movies where they're hyper-violent, and in, I mean, not a strong, strong story, but it's just a lot of fun to watch. Uh, Gerard Butler's character, Mike Banna is is a really cool character and I have to say the fighting style in Olympus Has Fallen was really great. It was it was brutal, it was quick, it was fast. And uh I really hoping that's what London can fa London Has Fallen can deliver. Uh the trailers didn't get me real real excited, but then the more TV spots I've seen playing recently uh has actually kind of piqued my interest a little bit more into the movie. And it is a new director on the movie, so that could change some things, but overall the style looks very similar to Olympus Has Fallen which I hope means that the movie will be similar in certain regards with the action and all that and just be a lot of fun to watch. So number three for me is London Has Fallen. Number two is Midnight Special. There's probably a lot of people that don't know much about this movie because it's been very small. It's a small indie movie. Not a lot has been advertised about it. But one of the main reasons I'm excited for it is because of the director, Jeff Nichols, who directed 2012 Mud, which was probably probably my favorite movie of that year. I love it so much. One of my favorite coming-of-age movies. And so, of course, I'm excited for this movie alone for the director. And then the trailers came out, and they just grab you immediately. It's such an original sci-fi movie. From what you can tell, Michael Shannon is the dad, and his, his young son's got this weird supernatural ability. His eyes glow. kind of makes you think of a uh, Cyclops from the X-Men, although we haven't seen him, like, you know, shoot lasers or anything. But it looks like an original sci-fi movie with a lot of heart to it. We've got Michael Shannon, we've got Joel Edgerton, uh, Kirsten Dunst is in it, and we've even, even got Kylo Ren himself, Adam Driver. And I have to say, the second trailer especially really grabbed my attention, and I've been really waiting for this movie. And it's going to be a nice tie-over into my number one as it comes out just a week before, as this one hits uh, theaters March 18th. So I'm really f looking forward to Midnight Special. And number one, if you've been following me for any amount of time, or if you're probably just a movie fan, is probably pretty obvious, and that is Batman v Superman. I have been looking forward to this movie for two years now, ever since it was announced. I look up news on it every every day, five times a day, especially when it was filming uh, down in Detroit, which is just about an hour and a half from where I live. So that was really cool to see. Then it was only 20, 20 minutes from my house when it was filming at uh, Michigan State University. I've been looking forward to this movie for so long. Batman is my favorite movie character, my favorite superhero. He's my favorite character in general of any character that's ever been created. Batman has had such a big impact on my life. Ben Affleck looks like the perfect Batman. Everything we've seen so far, he is nailed. When I first saw that first Comic-Con trailer, I got goosebumps. My, my eyes almost watered up because it was so awesome, and this is what I've been waiting for for so long. Because I looked up news on this, I watched all the on-set videos. It's really one of the reasons I even started this channel in the first place, and I started my uh, website, is because I realized how much I loved digging into movie news and behind-the-scenes stuff and all that leading up to a movie itself, then going and watching the movie and reviewing it and talking it with you guys and my friends. And so Batman v Superman has probably been my most anticipated movie of my lifetime, to be honest. And although the that second or third trailer depending on how you look at the reveal of doomsday wasn't great there was a lot of stuff in that trailer alone that got me excited and although the trailer itself wasn't great what i saw in the trailer made me excited for the movie and then that last trailer we got like i said batman's my guy and that fighting style they've brought to this the brutality of it looks so great they made this movie look fun again and i just cannot wait to see these two characters batman and superman come up to with each other and just throw down not to mention we've got Wonder Woman in there. See how they use Cyborg, Flash, and I'm hearing Aquaman really is the big reveal, which would make sense because we got that picture of Jason Momoa in the full Aquaman costume. So it seems like he'll play a decent role in it, or we'll at least see him in costume. 
So Batman v Superman is by far my number one anticipated movie of March. I can't wait to see it. I already got my tickets. Also got my advanced screening for seeing the trailer in IMAX last April. So I could see it with just straight Batman v Superman fans a few days early in IMAX. I couldn't be more excited. This month better go by fast. Hopefully the weather warms up. But there you guys go. Those are my three most anticipated movies for the month of March. Hopefully you're looking forward to them as much as I am. Uh, jump in the comments below. Let me know the movies that you're looking forward to most. Did they make my list? Did I miss one that you are really looking forward to? Maybe your list is in a little bit of a different order. You can also let me know on Twitter at AC Movie Chats. Uh, and please, uh, you know, follow me on Twitter. And that's where you get all the links to my website, aftercreditmoviechats.wordpress.com. I know it's a long URL. We're working on that. Uh, but like I said, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll get the links a lot easier instead of having to type that all out. Uh, once again, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here next time.